Hey y'all, hey y'all. Welcome to my channel. This is Straight Facts Commentary where I give you my unpopular opinions in everything pop culture. So please, please, please stick around and subscribe for more. Hey y'all, I am back again with another video and in today's video, you see the title, you see the title. We are going to be speaking about Brittany Renner. The internet is kind of going off on her and I have some things I wanted to talk about in regards to her. So if you're interested in her, female rap, pop, conspiracy theories, strange topics, my popular opinions, whatever I feel like getting into for real, go on and subscribe and let's get into this video. So there's kind of a lot of different things going on with Brittany Renner right now. A lot of us do know who she is, but in case you don't, she's basically an Instagram model right now slash influencer. Um, she's been known for like publicly talking about the dudes that she slept with in the industry. She's written a book about certain exploits that she's gone on. She's been known for like going to ball games and like scouting out allegedly potential new guys and she's just been problematic for so many different reasons but i followed her and kept up with her for the last few years simply because of all the drama that's constantly popping up with her also now apparently she is muslim and she is converted on over which i mean good for her if she's genuinely doing it for genuine reasons but a lot of people speculate that she isn't taking this new lifestyle on for a genuine reason because it doesn't seem like she does anything for a genuine reason and it also seems like she's a lost woman honestly and she's struggling to find herself outside of her beauty to be honest but basically why she's in the blogs right now is because she actually came out on to her live to speak about why she's broke and speak about the fact that she's going broke currently right now um she's a single mother and she has a son and she was kind of going on about how she doesn't feel like she's going to be able to provide for herself or her son. So I'm going to play those videos. First of all, Allahu Akbar. I've gone through a lot of changes internally. And as a result, my outer world has completely <laughs> crumbled. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. Woo! Wow. Uh, leaving me incredibly uncertain in just about every area in my life. I have no idea where I'm going to live <laughs> or how I'm going to provide for my son. But Allah has moved mountains for me. And I trust that this will be no different. I feel like Alice when she ate the cookie and her feet went through the windows and she's crammed in the house like that. I've outgrown where I am. The facade is fading. Alhamdulillah. And I'm at a place where I don't want anything that doesn't have my name on it. Take it away. It serves no purpose here. And I don't want a penny more than I'm meant to have because I can do a lot with a little. The facade is fading. And when the facade fades and all the BS is cleared out, it makes room for what has always been for you. So, um, those were the videos that a lot of people are reacting to right now. I don't know whether to take her seriously because she's always really on the internet talking about a whole bunch of stuff, to be honest with you, and it sounds so profound and so prophetic a lot of the time when she's on these lives, but then she posts or does something crazy right after talking so inspirationally, so I don't know. <laughs> I can never take this woman 100% serious, to be honest. But basically, a lot of people are just saying, girl, we don't care. And I so agree with a lot of the sentiments that people have. Like, girl, we don't care. These influencers, these Instagram models, these people who are in the industry but aren't really in the industry because they're just, like, affiliated with people who are in the industry. So, like, you know, people who are doing professional sports or rappers or singers it's like they're on the sidelines of these people because they're intertwined in their lives but they don't actually have a profession themselves and then they get on the internet and then they talk about how they don't have any money or they don't have any jobs or they're like oh my god I don't know how I'm going to provide for this and that. And obviously they're thinking in terms of like probably industry related money, right? And it's like <laughs> I agree with like a lot of the people what they were saying girl go get a job 
Now, not a job, not a social media job, not Instagram, not TikTok, Twitter endorsements, this and that. If the money's not cutting and you're not pulling in enough money, go get a job in your city. Go get an online job. Maybe you're too embarrassed to work at the local Walmart, McDonald's, Starbucks. Maybe that's not something you can do because you don't feel comfortable doing it. Okay, well, online jobs are a thing. Go on Indeed, find a work from home position. Like, yes, I'm so for people telling influencers and Instagram models and Instagrammers and whoever who are feeling like they're losing funds to go get a job, a (laughs) J-O-B, a J-O-B, because if we have to work to make a living, so so does anyone else. Just because you started off on Instagram, TikTok, life will humble you real fast. Life will humble you real fast. And then you might have to realize, oh, well, this doesn't work for me. This, this isn't working for me anymore. I have to go get an actual job. Like um, actors and actresses who have not been able to pull jobs in Hollywood have had to end up going back to working regular jobs because their acting career didn't work out. Like they were acting for a while and then something happened to where they're not anymore. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. So girl, go, go get a job. And it's like these influencers don't want to get a real job. They don't want to get a real job. And this nothing taken away from, you know, passion play jobs or jobs where you're relying on social media. Cause that's cool. And if you're able to make money that way, like me being able to make money from YouTube, it's not something everyone can do. Otherwise everyone would be doing it. Right. But if for some reason you're not able to do that, you should always have another job. You should be doing multiple things at once, to be honest, to ensure that you have a stable income. Don't just rely on the internet or being an influencer or whatever. So yeah, I just found this interesting and I wonder what you guys thought of it. So I'm going to read a couple of comments in regards to this and yeah, let's get into it. Some comments read, tell her to go on LinkedIn and indeed like the rest of us, right? It's like a lot of these people, it's like you guys are not above working a regular job. I promise you're not. I mean, it might seem like you're, you are because you're online, but no. Crying about financial difficulties in a luxury vehicle is diabolical. <laughs> J-O-B. UPS is hiring. You can go express your feelings there. <laughs> uh, ain't about Jesus or Allah. Take yo A-S-S to work. Her baby father, a whole NBA player. If she don't text that man, you need a job. You can start by trading in that bins for an Equinox. <laughs> Baby, maybe try Indeed. It's hiring season. They always making a lifestyle change when they're washed up. LOL. Allah don't move mountains, Jesus says. Bro, we all struggling. Put it in God's hands. Next caller. Try Jesus. He hasn't failed me yet. If attention was a person, she's going to need that CDL. Uh, so she started struggling in a month. It's been one month. This really could have stayed in her camera roll. Yeah, so that was that. She could have been venting, but again, like, what is the public supposed to do or tell you besides what they told you? (laughs) There's nothing we could do to really help you, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, um, let me know what you guys think about this, and that's really it for this one. I love you to pieces, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye. Bye.